Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Taking time off of work very quickly to try and talk about the upcoming month for Fake Grand Order. Uh, I was supposed to do this earlier, but then I've been working basically the non-stop the entire week and completely forgot. So there we go. I'm going to be doing that today. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. There's been a lot of support for our channel, and I thank you very much for it. But let's continue on. So... What's coming up? Well, <laughs> first of all, let's talk about the things that haven't happened yet, which were supposed to be end of June, um, which was the Grand Nero Fest. That still has not been announced yet or been shown yet, and it's for a very good reason. If we look over here on the event list, what are we actually expecting? Six year anniversary, the conclusion campaign, and Nero Fest. So. Why that's different from it was in Japan. Like I've said obvious times, we're a full month ahead. So funny enough, what we expect is at the beginning of Anime Expo, um, I believe it's July, I think they've already confirmed the, the date at this point. July 3rd, I think. Second. That's when it should be the actual thing that's going up, and we'll be able to... Yeah, yeah, it will be the second, so... That's when it's likely going to start our six year anniversary. Then we'll go from there. And then things get really screwy. So just keep that in mind. This this should be coming up for the month. Uh, in terms of what's to expect from the six year anniversary, this is actually pretty weird because some of the campaigns in here we already have. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Some of the things I'm clicking now I think we have here. Yes, here we go. So we already have the servant coin system. My brother pointed this out to me. So what are we getting? I don't know, honestly. I don't. The, there has to be something in number four. It, I assume something will come up, but I actually don't know. Um, and I tried checking the Taiwanese version to see if their version was different, and it turns out like they also didn't get pity early, so they also just got servant coins for this specific banner. Um, weird. Maybe I'll. Maybe we'll get something early. Who knows? I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty rad. Uh, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. That's the main thing. But everything else should be basically the same. Daily paid Saint Quartz should be showing up. The GSSR, the login bonus, all this stuff should be coming. And then of course the summoning campaign which features the Koyanasuka of Light, who is a Buster supporter, which I'll have to do a separate video for her because she's just that much of a crazy unit that she deserves her own video. But she's obviously a big supporter, big Buster support. She is the Buster support. She overshadows Merlin in every single way. But funny enough, there's another Buster support that is coming as well, which we can talk about. And then also on <laughs> right up, this is also the way the banner went. So you also have a chance of any of these SSRs if you are so inclined. SSRs and SRs. If you are so inclined to try and summon for them, <laughs> go ahead. The rate up should be changing by a daily basis. Um which will be interesting to see. And yeah, pre-release campaign, all this stuff, we're already, I expect, yeah, a lot of this is stuff is coming for us already. CE exchange, start looking at the pretty art, decide your pretty art now, try and figure it out. I always have a tough time, but usually I try and pick my favorite. Some memorial quests that are coming as well, revisit some old uh, hangups. There should also be, man, I forgot that we should also be getting a Holmes banner as well. That's kind of crazy. Man, shoutouts to anyone who's a big Sherlock Holmes fan that's going to be going for this. But anyway, that's all six year anniversary related and yeah, here's the summoning campaign. That's This starts on the second for us, the Holmes one. We actually have the, the date for that one. Anyway, next, the conclusion campaign. This is also to be expected this month, um, which should feature the Spirits on the Stones, Login, Limited Time Master Missions which is here you go, complete any arc, easy, one half campaign, and then the summoning campaign, which is obvious, Oberon. Oberon also deserves his own video, which I will go over later, but he is our first pretender unit at an NA, and he is a support, and he is one hell of a support. He also doesn't work with Merlin. <laughs> He's a fantastic Buster support that they don't want working with their original Buster support at all. And if you missed her the first time, Morgan's back! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> She's expected to come up in the next month as well. <laughs> so yeah, if you summoned for her and you were like, damn, I missed her. Or you were someone who was like, damn, I want to try out all my summons first and then go for her. Well, there you go. 
you can definitely try. Next, but yeah, that's to be expected. Um, now let's actually look at some other things in July. There's actually not that much, my god. Okay, so yeah, the other thing, Nero Fest. Nero Fest should be coming up at some point. Um, not really much to say about Nero Fest. I think even the summoning campaign is a really old one. It literally features, yeah, Brunhilde and Nero Caster, which I'm big fans of Nero Caster for sure. If you've heard enough videos of me saying I'm a big fan of her. Uh, never been able to get the one summer two unit that I've is that is not in my collection and it makes me sad. But yeah, this is gonna be a very simple. It's a Lotto style event, you know, tournaments. And this is an old one too, but they have updated some of the stuff here, as you can see, the 2017 team and the. Um, this is a new team for sure. Uh, and then we'll still have exhibitions, and we'll have the old exhibitions. <laughs> so. They should be easier to do. This one specifically, this was, oh my god, shout out to when we first did this. This was before they had break bars. If you want to know why they're hesitant to ever support Merlin in any case, it's because that motherfucker is the reason we have break bars, which show up here. <laughs> here, here is Nerofest before the, before the uh, Merlin, before Merlin, after Merlin. <laughs> Completely different. Um... But it should be for most people, especially if you are someone who played this event back in the day and you had trouble, you should be able to beat it very easily and get some tickets and some tiny material, which is cool. And then the lotto itself, the grand prizes features everyone's favorite goddess, Quetz, along with Ishtar. You have a chance of getting the Olympian gym uniform outfit and some golden foes, as always. And inside the boxes themselves, we have the material, which is paper, forbidden pages, Metals, heroes proofs, chains, and ash, which funny enough for me, this is useless for me because it, I, I've already used plenty of it and I don't really need more for it in 3 uh, EXP when I can just grind out 5. Honestly, it is easier to just grind out 5 for a couple bit than to do the lotto thing. It's really more of a bonus at this point. Uh, this will be great if you're someone who has not fully built out their entire box because this will help you do that easily super easy no no problem and yeah this is a very easy event at least for me for me it'll just be an easy <laughs> walk down memory lane maybe not for everyone though uh, let me see yeah not not really not really much has changed here semifinals champion oh that's i don't remember if this was true they are a little bit funkier but anyway that's it. And I think that's literally... Yeah, that's literally everything. It's really just gonna be all anniversary and then... I'm gonna be interested to see kind of where they go from here. Cause yeah... In theory in August, is we look at July and then we look at August, for the most part most of the things in August are gonna be here for us. And it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be earlier. So chances are this gets moved up as well, summer and everything else. I'm kind of curious because this is the, I think this is the, did we already do the summer rerun? No. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Man, what a weird month. I forgot how weird this month was in general, that they really got everything out of the way for Lost Belt 6, so it ends up feeling really weird. Um, man, funny times. I'm going to be interested to see what they do. I'm going to keep an eye on the other version of the game that is like a couple of weeks ahead of us to see how they kind of handle it and how they kind of plan to do things. Because again, we're about to enter the COVID years. And yeah, you know, not the most... Well, I, I click on October and of course that's when it has like a buttload of times. But yeah, 2022 has... Actually, it looks like a lot, but I could have sworn it's not very much. I don't know. This is an entire dark spot in my mind where it was just like, yeah, everyone's just kind of trying to stay afloat. And honestly, if you were a gotcha and you were able to survive, it must have mean you already had a buttload of cash and you were ready to kind of wait out the storm. Or your dudes were just that dedicated to you that they would still summon on your stuff, even though it probably wasn't the greatest idea at the time. Crazy times. Crazy times. So, yeah. I also, because it is NA, I also probably expect some stuff that we just don't have any idea of, or we had no idea. Like, 
like we've said in the past, and they've said in the past, Albert specifically, who was the dude who usually says all this, they're not the biggest fan of us having Clairvoyancy X, so they will gladly take hits of it where we can. And honestly, they can take as many hits as they want, because like I said, looking at this schedule, it is really weird, where you look at July, it's like, oh yeah, that's it. Well, that's it for this month. My cat is starting to meow, so he wants me to finish it up and get back to work, so I'm gonna go do that. I'll see you guys later. I'll be doing videos on all the stuff I talked about here in depth a little bit later, but in case you just wanted to know what's up for this month, it's literally just Nero Fest anniversary done. <laughs> Until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. Peace out.